Okay guys, here's a 81 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup I've got for sale. I'm going to do a quick video. i got to get back on the ramp so I can get underneath it and show you that it doesn't really have any much rust at all. Uh, we'll go around outside first. Not trying to hide nothing. The hood. This truck has been reworked at one time. There's some filler there, probably due to a dent. It's had hail on it since. See the windshield? Um, I was going to put a new windshield in it, but there's a few dents, like right here, that probably need one of those welding things and pulled out just a little bit. Uh, and these other ones, the same, pulled out a little bit. Have no idea what that bolt in the top was for. No clue. Um, and the worst of the hail dents, the biggest ones, of course, is on the roof, hood, and the windshield will take care of that. I was gonna, like I said, I was gonna put one in, but if you put one in, then you gotta take it back out to do your body work if that's what you want to do. You break the windshield, then it just no sense of doing it. Um, I found new ones for about two and a quarter installed, uh, reusing the old rubber, which looks good. Um, or if you can find a used one, probably for 50 bucks or less, or so pick apart or whatever. Rabbits in the early Jettas, up to 84, 85, I think, Jettas fit it uh, as far as the windshield goes. But uh, anyhow, I'll just do a quick walk. I did not wash it or anything, um, just the way it was. Um, you can see a ding on top of that tailgate. This tailgate did open for me once. Then the little clip for this right hand um, lever busted. So that needs to be fished out or fished up somehow. Put a new clip on that and adjust everything up. Um, this lens back here is broken. Um, you can get used ones on Car Part or Hollander. The one on the left does have a crack, but it's in better shape. Um, last plate, last time this thing was licensed was 1997, where it had a current. And I'll show you that on the front plate. This back when the stickers kind of wore. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, tires are brand new, all the way around. Um, I do not have the molding that goes here, and there is holes in there. Um, if you didn't want the molding back, you could. When you're doing your body work, you could just weld those shut and be done with it. Um, but uh, the uh, the body is pretty much rust free guys um, I didn't see any rust on the outside at all uh, there's one spot I did find and I'll tell you about that when I open up the hood um, but it's not in a crucial area or anything but uh, I do have a brand new grill and I'll show you in a second um, that's in the back. The only reason I didn't put it in is because you need bezels that go around the thing and it did not come with bezels. So I didn't put it on because I knew if I take it apart it's going to fall apart and I wouldn't be able to put it back on. But you can get these bezels and you probably need to get the little uh, inserts that go behind there too to hold that bezel in place. Um, somehow they do, I don't know, but I got new turn signal lenses, both of them in the back, brand new, never been put on. Um, so that was something that you can do. And there's the tag, 1997. And, uh, you know, there's some dents, but if you got one of them stud welder things like Harbor Freight, those come in real handy, just get it down to bare metal and you just pop it out as much as you can. And then of course you're all going to have to use some filler on that. Um, Inside the bed is clean. There's no big super humps to it. Um, I hope this is coming out. It's kind of shady and sunny out here, which kind of sucks. But but there's a new grill for it. There's the two turn signals for the front. I got a new um, ignition switch for it. I got it. It came late before I could get it put in. Uh, I did put new turn signals switch and wiper switch on. They're both brand new. Um, from it sitting all those years, they just get dirt in them and they just never work right, so I just replaced them. Four new glow plugs. I think there is a glow plug or two possibly that is south in this thing because when it starts, when it's cold, it just acts like 
that one cylinder that did not get heated up by the glow plug um, is not firing as fast as the other ones do. So let's take a peek underneath this thing. Um, from what I can tell, this thing has original exhaust on it. And if you look, well, it is. There's the original. It says Volkswagen right there, made in Canada. Volkswagen emblem and with Audi. And it is all welded. It is an original exhaust system. Um, I don't know. I'm just wondering if that filler neck hose is getting bad because I see that there's been some dampness on this fuel tank. And that is not rust, guys. That is just diesel and dust that's got on that. So it might have that fuel hose right there, the filler neck hose, that might need to be replaced. I've had many of them out here in the dry western Nebraska that uh, those will get rotten and start leaking. But you can see the floor pans and everything looks pretty good. I do see one spot that when I took my jack to it that it might be able to spot that floor. Let's take a look. I just noticed that since I got underneath here. Now let's take a look at it. Yeah, there's a little bit, little bit of crunchiness right there. But that's, some of this is old, that old undercoating. There might be a spot, and you can see where I crunched it with my jack when I jacked this up to put the tires on. But all what you'd be really worried about is all good. Um, that could be pushed back. And I don't know what you do with that, whatever. But it has original brake lines on it. That's all original exhaust. Um, but anyhow, you can see the rockers and so forth. That's just a little repair there, I believe. Let's take a look. Yep. Yeah, that actually might be a small hole, guys. Might be a small hole right there. The pinch weld. on the other side real quick so this is long and boring there's that pinch wheel there in this one looks good right up there looks good yeah all the surface rust you see here and I'm pointing to that's all sand sand wash where it's rust it uh, washes the paint off and gets a little rust on it um, but all in all, pretty damn dry and clean. <clears throat> Let's pop this. I don't think we'll get into it. The door panels, um, for any of you guys that know anything about these rabbits, the door panels are a very weak link in these because they use that damn hardboard stuff and it's basically glorified cardboard with some adhesive in it or something. The headliner, guys, is pretty well junk. It is sagging and it needs to be a new board put in it um, and replaced or whatever. Um, I did put these seat covers on. The seats fit well, they sit well, but it, they're vinyl and they were tracked up pretty bad. No air conditioning car, guys. No air. It is a five speed, it's not a four speed. The radio needs to be replaced. Sometimes it works on AM, can't switch it to FM. Um, I do have the um, ashtray, which I'm trying to do a minor repair to that. Um, but you know, this thing is 1981. Any of you guys know about them? You know, they got their the clock does work. I don't know if it keeps time, but it does work. Um, the old speedometer does work. The odometer does not work. It shows 72,000. Now, on the title that I got, it was dated 1990. I haven't put my name just yet. I'm going to. Uh, it shows 70, I think 71 or 72,000. So, I, I don't know what the story with that is, guys. Um, but, this light here works with the headlight switch. It does not work with the door thing, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, emergency brake works. 
Uh, like I said, the windshield is trashed. But let's fire this thing up and open up the hood. I did have it running earlier. And it was not that uh, the door for the hood really. There's a little clip back in here. I think it needs a clip. That doesn't really work real well. Now it is running on that 23 year old diesel fuel. I put me about a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons in it. But I don't know if you noticed. Um, I don't know if you noticed the fuel tank, how much fuel it has, and it shows a half a tank. And it is running off that fuel. All the spots and all the guys probably be worried about that now. This right here is where there's a hole in that where the drain would come down. The drain was all plucked up, so that kind of went. They got it underneath that um, stuff, and it is uh, made a hole there. It's a diesel! <laughs> 